Bobby Hannah getting you guys for a new video on my new channel. Today's video, we're going to get into my closet fall edition. So this is going to be things that you can wear when it's kind of cool outside, not necessarily cold as fuck. I'm in Oklahoma right now, and it's October 3rd today. So throughout the afternoon, the weather starts to heat up a little bit between 75 and 80. But in the morning time, it's really cool. You can get away with wearing a light jacket or hoodie. And the same thing applies to the evening, too. I have my pieces here. what I have in my closet um, it kind of gets too never worn to worn all the time or a lot of them that I like I just didn't really have anything to wear them with so I just never wore them um, I'm gonna go to least favorite to favorite the first one that I have here it's a regular flannel I think it's called Izod Izod however you pronounce that but I ordered this on Amazon like a year ago I ordered this specifically to wear Thanksgiving dinner when I went back home to see my family I wore this with olive green had some brown Chelsea boots on. I felt fresh, I felt nice. I was in South Carolina, and for those of you that do not know, it doesn't get extremely cold in South Carolina until towards the end of the year, like December, beginning of the year, January, February. So this was appropriate for Thanksgiving time. You know, it was about 50 degrees, between 50 to 60. So I wasn't too hot, but I also was warm when it came to the wind and all that kind of stuff, the little that they have. So yeah, I liked it. I mean, I feel like you can put this with anything. I could have worn with black or blue. I just chose to go with all green, and the green this is like a forest green, so it kind of it matches up well, in my opinion. I didn't take any pictures to show you guys, but yeah, I'm probably actually gonna give this away because I, I don't think I'm gonna wear this again. I like the quality though, it is really good quality. I think I paid like $36 for it, but um, yeah, bro, you can find a lot of this brand. This is just a regular black long sleeve shirt. You can wear this between 60 and 70 degrees, I would say. It's not going to protect you from any wind, and it's not going to really do anything for you as far as warmth, but you can wear this up under something, or if it's like, like I said, between 60 and 70, you can wear this by itself. I wore this one time so far, but I only got it two weeks ago. I wore this to a pajama party I was invited to, and I had on black and gold pajama bottoms, so this, this did what it was supposed to do. Um, it wasn't, it was September still, so it was still, it was warm with a cool breeze, if that makes sense. This was appropriate for the evening. I, think I paid like between 5 and $10 for it, I can't remember, it came from Walmart, it's the George brand, so if you guys wear Walmart clothing, you know, like, it's not a trash brand. You get what you pay for, it, and I didn't expect to do anything more than what, what I used it for. So I like that, we're going to keep that because it's simple, it's a basic top bro, like, you can wear it almost anything. I got this from Walmart about four years ago. I think what I like most about this, it's not just the texture, but this actually does take you warm. It's like a thermal kind of texture. I like the color a lot. It's like a cream off-white kind of color. And I would really just pair this with black pants and like black trim or something like that. Or if you want, you can wear it with dark blue jeans. Or light blue jeans and be cool. You can wear this with cargo pants, like tan cargo pants. Or olive um, cargo pants, if that's the route you want to go. Like, this is almost, this is almost a universal top, guys. I've worn it with a lot of things. I've had other things to choose from. In Oklahoma here, it's either cold as fuck or not cold at all. Like You have some days where it's okay, but you don't really have a lot of those. So I haven't really had a chance to wear this in Oklahoma, but I did wear this a good little bit when I was back home in South Carolina. I like it. I've had it for four years now. No rips, no tears, no none of it. So you can say what you want about Walmart clothes, bro, but they're built to last in, in my uh, experience. I got this. Let me see. Yeah, I think I got this from Walmart as well. I've had this. I joined the military. I got this to go to dinner, I think it was. Um, but I got it because you can wear something up under it. I wore a collared shirt up under it. That's why I got this. Um, I don't really think it would do well if you wear it by itself because first off, the neck is really wide and then the material is kind of thin. So I don't think it would really do you any justice unless that's what you're going after. But I really use it specifically to wear a collar shirt up under it. A long sleeve collar shirt at that up under it. I think I wore this with khaki pants white collar shirt up under it and then my brown Chelsea boots. I think that's how you pronounce the word Chelsea boots. If not, I'm still calling it Chelsea boots. Yeah, that's what I gotta say about this. I got this from Target actually. It's like, again, a thermal kind of material. This is warm, but it's kind of loose. I like my clothes to fit loose. I wore this to a Christmas party here on base and it was really cold at night. It was mid-December, December 15th last year. And I was playing, I was thugging it out. 
was actually really funny. Like, it, it, it matched the fit nice because I wore all black, but I was, I wish it was a turtleneck. But I think I paid like 20 to 30 dollars for this. If you shop at Target, you know, some of these stuff is good deals. Some of it is kind of pricey, but I mean, it's pretty nice. If I would have decided to wear it in Oklahoma mid-December, I probably would have been cool. Um, if you don't know much about Oklahoma weather, you know, like, you, this is not what I should, this was not appropriate. I had to sacrifice for the fit. So, yeah, I'm not gonna get rid of this because I can wear this almost anything. I just have to choose a better night to wear it. I got this pastel pink long sleeve shirt. I got this from Walmart. I don't even know if I really like this or not. I just like the color and I got it. I don't even know if I'm gonna ever wear this. Uh, because I'm, I have a really small frame and this is an extra small. That's as small as it could get. So, if I can't wear this, I'm probably gonna just give it away. I still have the tag on it. Um, this was $16 plus taxes. I don't even know if you can see any better. But yeah, so I'm kind of being greedy when I got this. I just, I don't discriminate when it comes to the stuff that I like to wear. If I like it, I'm going to get it. So I don't have much to say about this because I haven't worn it yet. I got this two years ago, going on two years ago from Forever 21. What really made me buy this, because first I like the Heather Gray, like the light Heather Gray. I like the material is soft and it's not too heavy. So you can still wear an under tee up under this if that's what you wanted to do. I don't know if I did or not. I wore this to fair that we have in South Carolina. It's like a carnival kind of thing. I had blue jeans on with this. I don't, I can't remember what shoes I had on with this, but you can pair it to anything. If you know how to style right, you'll be able to wear this to anything. So. Black pants, blue jeans, khaki pants, Air Forces, Jordan 1s, Tims, whatever way you want to do. This one is probably one of my favorites just because I love Stranger Things and she's my favorite character on Stranger Things. If you know me, you know that. I also have her bobblehead. My best friend got this for my birthday. She knows that I really fuck with Stranger Things. I don't know if she knew that I liked Elle. Um, the best. That's a really good guess if she didn't know. Kaylin, if you watch this, I fuck with you, girl. I appreciate you. Um, I haven't worn this yet because my birthday is in April. You're not going to wear this in April. It's kind of heavy. A little bit. It's a little heavy. You have to wear under tea if you don't want to. So I haven't gotten a chance to wear this yet, but when I do wear it, it's probably going to be all black fit. Probably going to have on like black pants with some black trim or something like that. I'm going to keep it simple with this. There's some color to work with in here, but I don't have any other colors to wear as far as shoes go and I don't really like having on all black and these shoes are just a color it's kind of tacky to me this right here I got this from Target as well this is like a cream off-white color just like the Walmart thermal was um by the company Goodfellow all of their clothes are they're not expensive in my opinion you get what you pay for and they're all quality I think I've had this for going on a year and I've only worn it a couple times because like I said in Oklahoma there's no in between usually so I only had a chance to wear this like that evening I had on a collared long sleeve shirt and it did me justice that night. I felt nice, it's clean, it's crisp, it has that grown up vibe, you know, if you want to dress up a little something, you need a pullover. This definitely did what it's supposed to do. I think I paid like $30 for this, probably just because it's a pullover. I don't know. But I really like this. You have shirt put on the collar, you know. Yeah. The rest of it, it's like that soft fleece kind of inside. I like that a lot. I think I wore this with some, some olive green chinos or chinos, however you say that. And then I had on some white shoes or blue jeans and Chelsea boots or Uggs or whatever it is your style. So you can wear it to like a dinner or something like that. Date night kind of thing. I did wear it when I went on a date. This right here, I have only worn this one time and I wore this when me and my friend ran out to Target real quick. I haven't worn this anywhere else. This is like, it's like a fleece flannel thing. It's by Croft and Barrow. I don't know much about Croft and Barrow. I went thrifting and I got this because I saw a video with this, but I don't know. I have this fall i know i can pull it off if i really wanted to so i'm going to definitely give it a chance before i give it away but it is warm this this outside is fleeced and the inside is fleeced too so and it's big like i like i don't like my outer garments to hug me in any way it's a loose fit it's warm wind doesn't make it through this you know it's whatever you can wear a wrap tee up under it if you wanted to it buttons up it doesn't zip so i like that i like the pockets and stuff i like this really be fresh you know I, I even like the way it looks with my gold right now and my black on but I don't like the blue yet but yeah I like this so I have like I said this is only wore once but if you have anything like this that in your closet or if you see something like this you should definitely cop you know I got this from Walmart and this one was 
twenty dollars. So you have to wear an undershirt with this because it's thin. Anyway, and it's more like a windbreaker kind of material, whatever that material is. This isn't going to protect you from any kind of wind. I don't think so, but it will be cool on like a cool day. Maybe a little light drizzle or something like that. But you have to have on like a like the black undershirt. I showed you. something like that up under it. You zip down a little bit, you know, expose whatever tee you're wearing just a little bit. I have not had an opportunity to wear this because I got this literally like two months ago. And two months ago, August, you're not, you're not going to wear this. It's, you know, August. Even if it's, even if it's raining in Oklahoma, it will still be hot. But um, I'm definitely going to wear this. I could see me wearing this with like some black jeans, black Tim's, and a black shirt up underneath. And maybe like a black uh, a black skull cap. Maybe a black dad hat. Depends. But definitely going all black with this. I'm not going to go too crazy with this. No blue jeans, no dark blue jeans, no khaki, no nothing like that. It has to be. I like the zebra camo kind of thing. I really like that. That's what caught my attention because there were other ones in there. I really like this though. I haven't. I'm gonna definitely take pictures when I'm able to. When I'm able to uh, wear this. Alright, this one is really old. I don't even know if people wear a Thrasher anymore. I got this at the end of the summer of 2016. I was so hyped about this hoodie. I actually wore this hoodie in fucking July. I think it was July. Or August, one of them girlies I've been involved with. All wanted to keep this hoodie. This is a really nice city and it's really nice quality. And I used to skate. What I like most about this is the actual is the camo. There are a lot of thrasher hoodies and crew necks out there, but I don't like the basic thrasher and just the rest of it. It's a solid color, it's kind of basic to me. I'm a simple person, not basic. So the camo is what sold me on this. If it wasn't for the camo, I probably wouldn't have cop. But you can wear this with whatever. I choose to wear it with black pants, black pants only. And I feel like it'll be cold when I wear this. So black pants, black tins, what I do. That's the way I go in summer. I have gone with this. Um, I made a mistake when I bought this by buying a small and I like for my hoodies and jackets, coats and stuff to fit me loosely. This is when I was first getting into shopping online so I wasn't really aware of the size and like the bust size, the chest size, arm, all that stuff. So I got it in a small snug. So I usually just wear this around the house or if I'm going on a store run or something like that. But I do like this a lot. I've been asked, people ask me about it already. Like, can I get it? Can I get it? It's on whatever. Probably not. I just really like I'm not gonna get rid of this. I'm not gonna get rid of this. This right here, this I've had this going on six years. The week of Thanksgiving this year will make six years. And I haven't gotten rid of it because my mother got it for me. This was the first thing she ever like bought me when I came out and I started dressing like guyish and stuff. This is the first thing she bought me. And I really like this as fly. Every time I wear this, I get compliments though. People up me all the time when I wear this. I just got up last past winter when I wore this. And they don't like no one know I don't even know. Still gets comments to this day. And you can tell it's aged because 2014 is when leather, like leather material is kind of in. And this has the leather sleeves and the leather hood. Don't like how small the hood is. I like my hood to be larger. Larger so I can just like put it at the, at the back of the cuff of my head. But it's whatever. I don't I just wear like a beanie or something like that. Anyways. Um this people like a black or white graphic tee, black and white graphic tee, nothing too much. The primary color could be black, a little bit of white in it. Also worn where I had this closed up, you can zip this up. And I've had on black pants and I had on the button, basically weak pants. So you can do that, whichever. Um, yeah, I like the all black. This so last time I wore this, I had on a black beanie and I had on black, black, and black on my feet. So yeah, I like this though. I really do like this. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I will always keep that. I don't care. I'm always throw that in the fall. This I got this from um, Old Navy. Like 60 to 64 hours from this, I can't remember. This is actually a year younger than what I showed you guys. I got this in 2015. I got this to wear to uh, the fair. It's like a the Western Carolina State Fair. I don't know, something like that. It's a carnival, basically rides through all that little stuff. You have a little fair, you go to crew, whatever you want to do. So I bought this for that reason. What I wore to the fair that night, I had on a uh, black and red Star Wars graphic tee. This was black, the design was red and white. I'll put a picture right after this. You know, you guys see what I'm talking about. And this was like I had went to a party with my, with my cousin. So this isn't what I wore to the fair, but it shows you what you can wear with it. But then I also got what I was saying. That tee that you guys saw in the picture, and then I had on black pants and black tents. I prefer to go all black underneath when I wear this because I just feel like it's, it's clean. So I just feel like you have to have on black with this. And I feel like with the olive, olive and black is like even, I can even wear it with what I got on now. Even though this is blue, 
there's kind of hints of green in it, I still feel like I'll be able to pair this with this and the gold chain. Probably have on like a gold watch, something like that. Black pants, black tents if I wanted to. Taxi 12s, whatever. I've worn this with Taxi 12s before. I got the Space Jams. I can wear with this, like whatever. Like basically, as long as you have black, predominantly black on me, wear this. I feel like it'd be fire. I've worn this with Khaki too, but I had on a polo shirt with the black polo. It's just whatever, bro. I just wear this with black. But yeah, I like this. This is going on five years old. And $60, and no cuts, no rips, no tears, nothing like that. I like the hood. Like it definitely has kept its value for it to be five years old. And yeah, I got this in a medium because I like myself to be baggy, like I said. And uh, yeah, I had to roll the arms up because I'm short. I like myself to fit, but I'm also 5'3". At the time I bought this, I was 120 pounds. I'm only 143 pounds right now. So you can't really tell it. And I really like it. I still like it. You can wear this with a turtleneck or whatever. So yeah, I like this. You have to have this, bro. You have to have something like this in your fall rotation. It doesn't have to be from this store, this brand, or whatever. But not this. That, it doesn't have to be the style. But you need an olive green outer garment. You have to have an olive green jacket, coat, whatever. You have to. You just have to. It is so universal. You can wear it with anything. It's hard for you to mess that up. This is one I'm really excited about. I really like this sandy tan. Whatever you want to call this color, I'm gonna go with tan. I like this. I like jean jackets anyway. I was looking at one on the Forever 21 app for like $22, but this one was $22. But I guess the difference is I didn't have to pay shipping and handling and all that. I just got to walk out the store with it. I got it from Walmart, by the way. I've already tried it on. I like the way it fit. So my plan with this is gonna be black turtleneck, black pants, black Tim's, or either black Chelsea boots, and gold gold accessories, because all I really wear is gold accessories, and a black beanie on to go with that. And I feel like this is gonna be so fire. I am so excited about this. You ever get you ever get a piece and you're just so excited to wear it? Like, even if it's gonna be months before you can wear it, you just know, you just know you're gonna set that shit already. That's how I feel about this. I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna take pictures when I wear this. I don't even know, I may wait until November sometime to wear this, when it's cold, I can put on a, and I can actually put on a turtleneck under this and be comfortable. Or I can wait until Christmas time when I go home and I can wear this and I know it'll be an appropriate uh, temperature outside. Either way it goes, I'm very excited to wear this. Walmart. I got this from Walmart, bro. $22. And this is a size small. This is a small. It's a little loose on me, but I like my stuff like that because you can wear something up under it if you wanted to. So yeah, excited about this. Next piece, this is a bomber. is a size medium as well. I like the way this fit because I'm gonna probably wear I'm gonna wear things up under it of course. This was I couldn't have spent this much on this. Uh I, I actually paid like $36 for it because it was on sale and uh this is a wow okay this is a this is a seventy dollar this is a seventy dollar jacket but I only spent thirty six dollars on it because you know I'm all about the deals bro I caught them when they had cut the price in half so you like me and you like to save money, but you like to look fly, bro. You need to try to catch those deals. I'm not if I don't have to pay seventy dollars and I can spend thirty six on the same thing. That's what I'm gonna do, bro. I'm not gonna keep my price tag on, so it doesn't really matter how much you pay. I haven't got to wear this yet because again, I bought this in August, which is probably why it was on sale. But my plan for this is gonna be uh, like a graphic tee, like a black, primarily black graphic tee, and black on my black on my ass. Ass feel like solid serious chilling like something like that I don't want to mess this up with a whole bunch of colors you know most I would do is like white shoes on my feet white and black shoes on my feet something like that but I would either go with the black Tim's or I would probably go with my with taxi 12s on this I would have to see about taxi 12s I feel like I can pull that off like a black beanie or a dad hat I'd probably go to dad hat and the taxi 12s that has more of that streetwear feel. But if I have on the tent, I'm going to have on a beanie with this. Or I would just keep my hair how it is. Or I would just keep my hair braided sometimes because I do sometimes. So, yeah. I like this. And I got some from Hollister. They always have sales all the time, dude. Like, all the time. And if you even want to, you can search on Twitter. Um, it's like, you can look for, like, codes to get a discount. Like, discount codes on Twitter. Sometimes you can, like, finesse the system. It's kind of thin. So, I probably would get away with wearing, like, a crew neck or something. 
under this in the cold months. But for right now in the fall, it is really what it is for Sagrafic Tea. So yeah, I like this Hollister from Bomber. Hollister from Hollister. It's, it's from Hollister. It's from Hollister. This is one of my other favorites. I probably would never get rid of this unless I get like grown and it's completely like not my style anymore. But right now, I still wear it. I just wore it last October on Halloween actually. Um, so I got this in 2016. It was a Forever 21 and I went there with no intentions to buy this because I didn't know this existed yet. But when I got in there and I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Like I didn't need to look at anything else but this. I think I only paid between 20 and $30 because Forever 21. They don't really bust you in the head with prices, depends on what you get. But for this, it was between 20 and $30. And it was towards the end of the summer, so they had just put it out. I don't know if that made a difference in the price or not. But yeah, um, I like the color more than anything. And I like that material. I like that shiny material, kind of. Um, and I like the white and black and red in the back. You also have that same on the patch right here. And then you have that right here on the 99, which was 98, not the 98 baby. But hey, it's whatever. I don't know what 99 means, if it means anything. I like the patches on it. You can wear this with Tim's like I've done before. You can wear it with the Tacky 12s like I've done before. And I also have the black toe breads or the bread black toe ones, whatever you want to call them, bro. I put them a pair with this and it's going to be so fire. So I probably would wear like a black graphic tee. Black graphic tee with red and white in it. Black pants and either the Tacky's or the black or either my ones. Like, it'd either be one of those. Or I can go solid, black, black pants. Red or black skull cap, it's gonna be either or, it won't be both colors together. Dad hat, I'll probably have on some sneakers when I do that. I might have on Tim's, you gotta be classic, like I said. So, yeah, I like this. I don't even think they make these anymore because that was four years ago when I bought this. So, I only see one other person with this. It's not exclusive at all, but I, I think a lot of people slept on this and they only had a couple when I went, they only had like three others. So, yeah, I, I, I'm glad that when you see this, you'll know it's four years old. When you see it, you'll know. I mean, it's fine. In my opinion, everyone's, everyone's style is different. I saw one on Hollister for like $70, but I went TJ Maxx and I spent, I got the tag on this foot. I spent $25 on this at TJ Maxx and it's the exact same thing. The brand is just different. I like the way this fits me. It's a small and it's still loose and I, I like that Sherpa collar and Sherpa actually goes into that. It's like on the breast part in the back. I probably would wear this with a long sleeve shirt because if I, if I have a need for the Sherpa to keep me warm, it's probably going to be really cold outside anyway. Yeah, with this, I have no choice but to go black pants and black Tim's with this and a black uh, skull cap. Black, what I say? Yeah. yeah, I can do a black graphic tee, but I probably just with a black um, turtleneck and everything else that I said with gold accessories. I just like that black. This black is classic. Like, even on this, look how black this like. This is just, I love this. This is like midnight black. Now, you don't want to throw the black off with too many colors. I'm not throwing the black off with too many colors. Like this, definitely going to take pictures in this. I'm definitely looking forward to, to rocking that. This is another jean jacket that I got, but it's the blue jean jacket. I think you definitely need one of these. You need a black jean jacket and a blue jean jacket in your fall rotation, both with the Sherpa collars on it. This one, the Sherpa actually goes all the way through. I like this. This does keep you warm. I wore this last year to a haunted house, and I had on a graphic tee underneath. I was completely fine. I was not cold. The only thing that was cold was my head because I had a fall bed at the time. But, um, yeah, this did exactly what it's supposed to do. I think I pay like between 50 and 60 for this at Target, and it's still about Buffalo. They're not, they're on the cheaper side, but they're not cheap, if that makes sense. But all their stuff is quality, and nothing, like, it's not hurt at all. I'm going to utilize this, this one as well. I also wore this when I went to Six Flags, too, and we were getting on rides and stuff, so all that wind and all that, and I still was warm. So, yeah, I like this. You guys need to have some like this in your rotation. It doesn't have to be the brand, but you definitely need some. Don't really expect to spend because you're paying for the Sherpa and the jeans like but it's fire I don't really like this with I don't like denim on denim it's too crazy because it's hard for me to get them like matched up but I wore this with like olive green pants and the skate high lows I have a lot more shoes than I had back then so I don't know what shoes I'll wear with this yet I'll have to keep you guys I'll keep y'all posted I'll post something later on like a lookbook a fall lookbook but yeah universal you can wear this almost anything which is why you need this in your fall rotation last but not least I got this from Forever 21 too. I was at uh, the Galleria in Dallas. I just went up to Forever 21 real quick. This was $50 and I liked it a lot because it's like a big teddy bear kind of coat. But honestly, I feel like this is a, a lot. I'm, I'm a really simple person, like I've said, but I don't feel like this is a simple piece at all. Like when I wore this, my friend made a comment, like, I look like money. You look like money when you wear this. But I, 
feel like I don't really want to look like money. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense. I just be chilling. I wore this one time and I had went to a museum in Dallas and um I post a picture right here. I don't even know if I wore this right. I feel like something like this, you need to look nice when you wear this. Like you can't just wear this with a graphic tee or something like that. You need to actually wear this like a turtleneck or something. I don't know what to wear this with. So I, since I was so confused, I just wear this around the crib. Like I just wear this around the house and the grandma. This definitely does what it's supposed to do. It's really big. The hood on it is really big. As you can see in the picture that I posted. So yeah, um, I paid $50 for this. I think I've already stated that. So I'm not getting rid of this either. It's a challenge to me, which is why I'm going to keep it. And I paid a lot for it just to give it away. I only had it for a year, so I'm going to keep this. But yeah. All right, guys. That was my closet fall edition. Of course, I'm going to be adding new things as the weeks progress. I'm really excited about this channel. I'm really excited about the content. And for that reason, I feel like I'm going to do even better. Thank you guys for watching. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe, whichever. Whatever. I'm pausing and I'll see you guys next